Hi, I'm John. Hi, nice name? to meet you. What's your name? Nice to meet you. What was your name again? Jane. Um, this is Paul. This is Paul. Hi. Hi, Paul. I'm Jane. Nice to meet you. And this is Sophia. Hi. And I'm Sydney. Hi, Sophia. Hi, I didn't catch the last name. Sydney. Sydney. Okay, Sophia and Sydney. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Um, thank you for taking time out of your day to first day ask you these questions. And, uh, okay, so what years did you attend this formal? Uh, I believe it was 92 until I graduated in 98. So 92 or 93 is when I started, I guess. Yep. Um, how was this formal different from any other schools you may have attended? Um, well, I guess I don't have very much to compare it with because of the was there from grade 8 till 12 so I didn't go to another I didn't switch schools at all however um, what I did experience was when I when I did make friends out outside of my high school that were attending other schools what I found was the atmosphere at Esquimalt was um, was very uh, welcoming, like people got along really well together. I guess maybe when you look at TV programs and whatnot, you kind of expect high school to be um, the jocks hang out in one section and the artists hang out in one section and the band people hang out in another section. But I didn't really find that when I attended a square mall. There was a lot of mixing. Yeah. So that was really pleasant. It was a good surprise. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's still really close to that. Yeah, no, like to this day. Yeah, hmm. yeah, and talking to people who went to other schools in Victoria, um, I think that, that we had a special situation. Now, it might have had to do with um, the fact that it's final, it's, from grade to grade, the population is a bit smaller because it is just. A, I mean, when I went to school, it was, was under a thousand um, from eight to twelve, so it's everyone just got, got along, which was great. It's still. It's only like 600 people here. Compared oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. to, compared to like Oak Bay that has like 1,600. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And with Oak Bay, I mean, of course, that's two, I think two grades. It's just 11, 12, I think. I think, in the high school section. So, I mean, looking at our, the graduating class, we all knew each other quite well. Um, because there was only, I don't know, a couple hundred in grade 12, or less than 200, I think. So we all knew each other, which was great. Um, what was your favorite class or program at Um Well, being an artist, I think I'd have to say art was my favorite. Um, yeah, um, but I did quite like um, Western Civ. It was a great class. It was one of the uh, required classes that I, uh, I was supposed to take in grade 11. Um, so it just introduced me to a lot of art history stuff, and um, it, I don't know that I would have necessarily have taken the class if I wasn't required to take it. So that was great. Um, I ended up going into art history and um, in university, so obviously it had an effect on me. Yeah. But um, yeah, art class was definitely top top favorite. Um, what is your best memory you made at a school? Oh, best memory. Um, I'm so bad at remembering specific so let me see if I can come up with a, a favorite. Um, I was a big fan of the dances, really enjoyed the, the dances. Again, I think it was partly because everyone knew each other and it, it was a sense of, you know, age, age groups would mix too. So I um, got to know a lot of people, a lot of fun. Yeah, they was uh, on Thursday. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, how did the attending a Squire Mall contribute to you? contribute to you today or uh, your career plans? Um, well, I def definitely appreciated when I was, um, whenever I had trouble scheduling in an art class, the art teacher actually allowed the students that were really set on being artists or really had um, an interest, she would accommodate and let us take an, a self-directed cl uh, class, so we would sit in the back of, say, grade 8 class and to do a self-directed art course, just so that we could fit it into the schedule at some point um, if, it didn't ha if it didn't fit regularly with, say if I was in grade 11 and the 11 art class wasn't, you know, if it was going at the same time as one of my required classes, she would make allowances for that. 
Um, so that was fantastic because that that was really important to me going through high school. Yeah. Um, um, so that played a huge part in where I where I went in life, which was ultimately came back around to art again, and um, I'm currently pursuing art. So um, yeah, that made a huge huge difference that she 